Hi there. In a previous video, I think it is video 73, we just talked about changing uh, the actual data itself and I briefly mentioned um, add the field, uh, add field option. Um, but of course the, the other part to this uh, where you can look at the data is the schema itself, is the structure of this, of this table. So you click on fields and you can see all the fields um, listed, um, literally in this list you can change it so sorry in the table or you can change it to a list and uh, view it like that if you prefer personally I just use it like a table um, and <clears throat> what's useful in, in, in here is you can actually when you look at these you can say well uh, can you filter them just by date click on date and you can just see what the date fields are um, which is uh, quite handy what the string fields are text the attachments any related uh, relationship uh, info um, uh, what, what's a number? So you know th th that that kind of thing is um, really re really useful uh, and then clear, especially when you have lots of uh, field types. So you can see them all there. You can also filter on sort of types of field values um, as sort of percentages, currency, etc. Unique identifiers are all recognised uh, within Argus Online. Um, so that none of these uh, are actually defined as an email address or a phone number, um, that sort of thing. So we'll clear that filter, but useful if you do take advantage of, of that sort of thing. Um, but uh, not in the state set, I, I haven't. Um, so that might that might happen if you created a survey one two three schema or something. Um, but then, anyway, so what 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 can you do in here? Well, of course, there's the add button to add a field. You saw that previously. But if you click on a field, let's click on name, you can see all the details um, and indeed you can jump one field to the next and see them. Uh, so we're looking at name, uh, you can edit this and put in the description for this name value. So name of battle, for example, and we can change the name of the field itself. Uh, think carefully when you do that sort of thing, um, and uh, but you can do. Let's cancel, and you can say whether well, can you can you add, edit these attributes? Um, you know, uh, name um, can name be changed or is it sort of locked? So you can do that as well, which is uh, handy. And also, uh, do you want to force a uniqueness about it? Uh, another thing you could do here is say, well, when there's a name of a battle, I actually want the user to select from a list. So you can you can create a list. So we could have uh, Bosworth, uh, Naysbury, uh, Naysbury, uh, um, you know, or, or, or whatever, Toten. You, you know, you, you could create a list and that would sort of um, uh, force the user to select from a list. Uh, and then finally is delete and uh, it will of course prompt you before you do that. So there you go, quick look at the uh, at, at, at editing fields in Archis Online. I hope that's useful, thanks.